Well, good morning. Y'all can have a seat. I'm Pastor Chris if you're here for the first time or if you're tuning in for the first time. Um, many of you guys who have been here for a while, you've been hearing us. Uh, but if you're here for the first time, you, you don't know. We have been in the middle of a, a campaign. We are trying to construct a building uh, on a piece of land over uh, on Herbertsville Road about six minutes from here. We have been praying and fasting for 90 days, and we took an offering, and we've been raising uh, money for that. Uh, last Monday night, there was a meeting with the Township of Wall, and uh, I, I just going to call up Bob Daver, who's one of our elders, but he's also the one spearheading our building team. He's going to give us an update uh, and kind of the, the bigger picture of what's going on with this building. So give it up for Bob. Thanks, Chris, and uh, good morning, church. Um, as Chris said, we had a great milestone this week. And so before I get into the details, um, I again just wanted to thank everyone who's been leaning into this building campaign and loading in, leading into this project, whether that's financially making sacrifices and in investing uh, in what we believe God's leading us to in, in building this building, whether that's fasting and, and just the continued prayers. And so thank you for that. And also just want to praise God uh, as we've made you know, each of these steps and continue to just follow uh, where we think he's leading, he's continued to open doors. And so, Jeff, if you want to throw up the next slide, um, we had our meeting on this Monday. Uh, it was with the town. We had a few folks. Uh, it was myself, our legal representation, and one of the engineers who's been working on our project, along with the, uh, the team from the town. This was an informal meeting, so it means everything we talked about is non-binding. Um, however, as you can see there in bold, the summary, we had a great conversation, a great dialogue, and if I had to sum it up, I'd say that we had, they had a very favorable look at our application. And so I just want to praise God for that. Um, yeah, round of applause. What that meant is they asked questions. They, they wanted to understand what we were intending to do with the land, uh, some questions about what it's going to look like, um, and the outcome of that was essentially there were some uh, gaps or inconsistencies in our application, so a little things here and there. Um, and so they gave us all of that feedback, and what that means now is we can incorporate that feedback into our application, make it more complete. And so we, as you can see on the dates here, our next steps, uh, we are expecting to get this in over the next couple of weeks as the engineers revise those plans and we get the application in. Um, that will start again another completeness review that could take up to 45 days. Uh, we we're hoping and expecting it to go faster because we've already engaged with them and had the conversation. And so in the worst case scenario, that'll take 45 days. Um, once they deem it complete, we will go ahead and schedule the formal hearing. So that will be where we go before the board in a formal matter, and then they'll take a vote up on the application. Um, we expect that to happen sometime in early 2025. Uh, again, could happen sooner, but if they take the full 45 days to review that application. Again, um, that puts us in, in early next year. So uh, next slide is some more information. There's just been you know, questions that came in and thought this was a good opportunity to highlight a couple of things. So two more slides just on a uh, timeline. So this one is a review of how long do we have to actually complete this from a contractual perspective. So as you know, we executed the contract earlier this year back in April. And there were three phases laid out in that contract. The first was due diligence. That's where we got to come in, bring engineers, do soil testing, uh, take a survey of all the trees. That period ended in the summer, and now we are in this approval contingency period. So we have 18 months to get the town to approve how we want to use the land. And then once that's done, we have three years to essentially build and then occupy. And so you can see that timeline takes us pretty far out. But this is the maximum of what we're allowed to contractually. We do think and believe it's going to happen much sooner. An example is if we get approval in the first quarter of next year, that would end our approvals contingency and then start that three-year timeline. And so the next slide is a summary of what we are expecting to happen next. So as I mentioned, we'll get this application in. We'll get scheduled by the town for that formal hearing. We have that hearing, and if all goes well and they approve, there's then a 45-day comment period. This is where anyone in the, in the town, in the, in the local area, can comment on it if they have objections or concerns that might require some extra tweaks. Things like, you know, when are the lights going to be on in the parking lot? What's the, the tree look like for privacy? And so um, 
during that 45 day period, there are some other things we can do in parallel. And so the building team is now looking at this, is how do we um, do things in parallel so that we can bring in that full timeline and so uh, the town during that um, public period will uh, work with us on the bond. We'll get ready to make some payments. After that all goes and the 45 days close, we'll then move into a formal resolution. This is where we draft and, and you know, essentially complete it formally. Um, and then we will close our purchase agreement with Art Summers, uh, where then we'll own the land, we'll have the deed, and we can put a shovel in the ground and start to uh, clear trees. And so. We are expecting that sometime in the second quarter of next year, we will start clearing those trees. And in, the, in an ideal sense, we will have a open piece of land uh, going into next summer. And then we'll be putting out for bid, uh, you know, for the construction project itself. So these are things, you know, that you can expect different milestones. And as we progress over the, the next several months, we'll give you continued updates as we chip away at this. Uh, but the next step is getting this application in uh, within the next couple weeks. So thank you, everybody. Thanks, Bob. We're going to be quizzing people on this as you leave today on all these details. Um, but Jeff, put that last one back up real quick. That land being cleared, that's a big one to me. Because once that land is cleared, maybe going into the summer, we can start doing some uh, campground-style worship gatherings on that land. We can start, uh, with Art's permission, start using it, even without a, even without a building. So uh, I think that'll feel like it's like something's happening um, but as Bob said thank you for your patience and for those of you who've leaned in what this means is because every meeting we have it becomes more and more clear um, what this means is that um, the giving towards this th towards the, the the rest of the money that we need to raise um, you can continue to give until the rest of this period of, of the, you know this phase two um, so that could be uh, you know March of 2025 figure so um, if you want to um, continue to give towards that, go for it. You're allowed to. All right?